I am here to explain the pH scale because nobody understands it. So, you pretty much need this in every science class that you'll probably ever take. Whether you'll need it in the workforce, it depends on your job. For me, absolutely. Um, I'm studying to become a nurse and I will need the pH scale. Um, I will be testing uh, urine, I'll be testing stomach acid uh, when I do in G tubes and that kind of thing. So the pH scale is really important. So I drew the pH scale on a piece of paper. And so before I even talk about this, you need to know what a pH scale is. Um, so a pH scale measures the acidity or alkalinity in a substance. So the scale goes from 0 to 14. Um, 0 to, I guess, 6.9 is acid, 7 is neutral, and then 7.1 to 14 is considered a base or an alkaline. Um, so I drew this up, and so that's the acid side. And then you can just stop the video if you want to look at something, but I'm going to go over all of this. Okay. So basically the most acid or the most acidic of the acidics, does that make sense? I don't know, um, is hydrochloric acid. Um, and that is a zero. Your stomach is between one and four on this scale. See, it's one through four. Um, so for example, if you're going into nursing and you place an NG tube, or even if you don't, if you go into a patient's room and they have an NG tube, the first thing that I'm going to do before I put anything in it, um, before I do any kind of suctioning, is make sure that it's in the right place. Because I could have put that NG tube, you know, I could have inserted it correctly yesterday, but NG tubes have uh, a tendency to move around so they could move into the lungs. So it's really important that you check. So you place a syringe in and you pull back on the syringe and you're going to get some stomach acid, hopefully, if you're in the stomach. So you test the acid and the acid needs to be between a pH of one and four. Um, if you test it and the acid or the substance is like a seven or eight, you're not in the stomach, you cannot give drugs, um, you cannot give food because you're in the lungs, not the stomach. Um, so that's why you always test um, the NG tube fluid. You, all, you just want to make sure, just double check that you're actually in the stomach when you're dealing with an NG tube because if it's in the lungs and you gave a medication or you gave food that's going in the lungs, that's very, very, very dangerous. Um, next is urine. Urine is on the acid side. It's five to six. And the reason, but the reason that I would need to know this is because I'm going to be doing lots of urinalysis. Urinalysis is... Huh, okay. And so I need to know the normal pH of urine, as well as specific gravity and other stuff. But we're just talking about pH right now. Um, so urine is five to six. And then seven, remember the pH scale goes from zero to 14. If you divide 14 into two, it's seven. So seven's the halfway point. Seven is considered neutral, the most neutral substance that we have on planet Earth is water. So purified water is neutral. Um, and then 
this is probably the most important for me is there's something between a seven and an eight um, and just to let you know you can get numbers in between these numbers like you can get a 1.5 pH that's possible um, but I, I didn't want to go into all that detail I mean I'm just kind of broadly going over it so in between a seven and an eight I wrote a blood pH of 7.35 to 7.45. That is the healthy blood pH in the human body. You can go above and below that pH, um, but you're really, I mean, you have to be really sick to get there. Um, and that's really serious if you do get out of the normal pH. Um, and then we look at the pH from 8 to 10 right there and that is the intestines. The intestines are slightly alkaline. Our human body is slightly alkaline, not by much, um, but so are the intestines. So back to the NG tube, if you drew that back and you got an alkaline pH, not only could it be in the lungs, um, I don't really think it could get in the intestines. I don't think it would be long enough. But you never know. Things travel. Um, so something else that I wanted to touch on is H plus are, that stands for hydrogen ions. Um, and so an acid measures the H plus ions. Okay, a base measures the OH negative ions. On this scale, the higher the number, the more alkaline or basic it is. Um, and the lower the number, the more acidic it is. Uh, so hopefully this helped you. I don't know. Um, but the pH scale is really important. Especially if you're going into a science field, um, you know, I'm going to have to know, I mean, I already know it, but like respiratory acidosis and alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, alkalosis, that kind of stuff involves pH. Um, so, and pH stands for potential of hydrogen. Don't forget that. It will make your teachers very happy that you know that. So pH stands for potential of hydrogen. Don't ask me why it's named that. I don't know. Hopefully this helps.